Hello, this is Jaden Max, and I'm here with another test drive. Though, unlike before, this is not a test drive of a snapshot, but test drive of the official release of 1.7. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. I'm eager to get into this, so let's just jump right into it. By the way, this is a recreation of my expanded cozy cottage using all glass blocks, which is one of the new features of 1.7. Uh, this was a bit of a surprise. People thought it was a joke right up until it was released a couple of snapshots ago. Uh, they managed to, to go in and get stained glass and put it into Minecraft, and I think it's a really good dill all the colors that you normally use to dye say carpet or wool blocks is here you just and you use the same procedure you get uh, some dye you surround it with regular glass and you get stained glass and I like it looks really good uh, you can notice from a couple of snapshots my last test drive they changed the texture of the glass uh, before all the glass was kind of like the the regular glass with these non-translucent blocks here. Now it's all completely translucent. They also changed the way you see blocks through each other. So now two blocks of the same color do are not visible through one another, but blocks of different colors are. And I think that works out a lot better. Before it was definitely much more messy than it is now. Hello, Columbia. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I, yeah, this is such a big deal. Columbia can't decide to come and join me. Yes, I. she did not go away with the Punchwood Town server. I rescued her. She's right here. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, so this is great. I just wish that they would do something about the regular glass texture. I mean, it's glass. So what's up with these non-translucent blocks in here? Um, it, it's a reason why a lot of people will change that with a texture pack. At the end, oh, we'll talk more about texture packs in a moment. But it's it just does it looks dirty, even worse than dirty. You just can't see through it. So it'd be nice if they could make it translucent, just like all the other glass blocks they have in the game now. But anyway, that's I'm just saying. That's my soapbox. Okay, over here. Oh, actually, before I get into the fauna, uh, the big headlining news of this uh, 1.7 update is the new map generation. And isn't it beautiful? Actually, this is not the regular generation. This is a new, f a new, uh, I guess a new mode of generation. Before you could choose large biomes, which expanded the blocks uh, width-wise by, I believe, three times, like 300%. This is called amplified. And basically, it looks like it raises all the blocks. It makes the blocks, the all the terrain taller by maybe three times. I'm not really sure. I just selected it and came in and was like, wow, I definitely got to do my video here. It looks really awesome. The The valleys are so deep. The mountains are so tall. Uh, some of the caves, just the, the how cavernous they are in the inside because of how this stretches everything vertically. It just looks really, really cool. So I can't wait to get into that, into this kind of new seed type uh, later. Uh, over here, in terms of other things you can see and touch, we got this new Podsel Dirt, which I still can't figure out what it does beyond just looking different. It's the flooring for some of the new biomes. 16 new biomes. 16 new biomes and all for 1.7. I haven't yet, with all the snapshots, been able to look in and explore all of them, but I definitely look forward to doing that in the future. So moving on, we got all this fauna here. A uh, lot of brand new flowers. Unfortunately, it means gone is our old tried and true rose. Uh, there was a campaign to keep it, but it's been replaced now by the poppy. We still have our yellow flower, the dandelion. We also have new flowers, blue orchid, alili, allium, azure blue, and four different shades of tulips. All pretty cool stuff. Then we have Oxy Daisy, as well as our two block high fauna, uh, which before, remember, everything before was one block high, at least all the plants were. Now we have our, well, all the plants that would occur that you couldn't eat, <laughs> anything other than crops. But now we have these two block high flowers that occur, including sunflowers, which would be nice if you could process that and get sunflower seeds, but I'm just saying. Uh, which my sunflower, probably because I got my day clocks, daylight cycle paused, which is another 1.7 feature. Uh, my sunflower is not actually pointing towards the sun, though it should be, and it usually does. 
Uh, we also have lilac, tall grass, tall fern, rose bush, rose bush, and peony. And so we still have our roses. They just occur in bush form now, which is how roses usually occur. Roses don't normally grow out of the ground, which is probably why they changed it. Uh, anyway, yeah, and then in addition to all these new fauna types, we also got new trees. And this is fairly new. This came very late in the process. Uh, in some of the biomes, like savanna and the roofed forest, we just had the regular old trees that we had before, uh, you know, just creatively shaped. Now we actually have saplings which will properly grow these trees. We have acacia sapling. And let me hit that with some bone mill so you can see it. Pretty cool. You got different, different bark on the outside. The wood itself is a different color. And I like that because we should be able to make use of that in some builds. And these things, I believe, will drop their proper saplings now. In some of the in the early snapshots, they the because these are actually oak wood oak tree leaves, they will only drop oak tree saplings but now they actually drop the acacia sapling so that means you can replenish your so you can cut down all the acacia trees in your savanna and be able to recreate it no problem uh and in addition we also have the dark uh dark wood dark dark oak sapling we have the dark oak sapling here uh now if you plant a single dark oak, oak sapling nothing will happen. I can hit this with bone mill as many times as I please and it just won't grow. In order for that to work you have to have four of these which... hold on one moment. Bing! And just like that I got three more dark oak saplings. So you have to plant them like that two by two to grow the tree and bang! There you go. Uh, and this is also pretty nice, a new texture. Matter of fact, let's take another a closer look at these over here where I got it lit up and with comparison. Oops, okay. And so we got the Arcacia, the Arcacia logs, which are gray, grayish textures, pretty much the same as the spruce uh, logs back there, and the, similar to the oak logs. And the planks here, which are nice reddish orange tint. I put them here next to the jungle wood to, for comparison because before jungle wood was our reddish wood but this is even a stronger red. Um, that should work because a lot of times I want the reddish color but jungle wood is just not differentiated enough from oak in my opinion for them to look good side by side. So this is something I can't wait to try. I haven't tried it yet in a build other than than this structure here, but I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, on the other side, over here, we got the dark oak wood. And so here's a log I put it next to spruce for some, some comparison. And as you can see here, the, the logs themselves, I think the spruce log is a little darker. Uh, the contrast is a little higher. But if you look over here to the plank, the dark oak plank is actually darker than the spruce plank with higher contrast. Mm, go fig. Anyway, uh, to see how this dark oak planks, how these dark oak planks look, I put them here in the roof of this build. Looks pretty nice. And before, I always thought of spruce as my dark wood uh, in Minecraft, but this definitely beats that. I, it's going to turn up the contrast in some of my builds up, and I like that. Uh, anyway, coming over here. Um, hmm. Bye. <laughs> Down here, we also have some new things related to water. You can take a water bottle, put uh, nether wart inside to make an awkward potion, add a puffer fish to that, and you have potion of water breathing. And you can drink that while underwater, and whew, just in time. You don't lose any more air. Your, your air bubbles normally stay there, but I got it in just as that last bubble disappeared. Uh, this is extended one, so I, got, I can stay here for a while. It also clears up your vision underwater while you're liquored up like this. So this is going to be really good for underwater building projects. Uh, no more using the old torch or bucket trick to try to stay underwater for long periods of time. We actually have a proper potion. Now this puffer fish... Uh, um, I, my mom always said if there's... In, you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. And so I'm not going to say anything about this new design of the pufferfish icon. 
I will say I like the old one. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about this one. Uh, but don't eat the puffer fish. <laughs> it works pretty much the same as cave spider venom. It will take you down to half a heart. When I tested it before, it took me down to half a heart and then left me there. The po poison wore, wore out. Even, and I was on hard mode when I tried it, so I don't think it will kill you, but it will weaken you by a lot. Uh, but if you brew it into a potion, it works pretty well. Uh, let's go grab some of these items here. Uh, there's a lot of new things with fishing. Uh, you can now take a fishing pole enchanted with lure and luck of the sea enchants. I'm not quite sure how these enchants work. I know lure gets you more fish. Uh, luck of the sea, I believe, increases your ability to get treasure. And let me go see, I'll go up and do some fishing, see if I can grab some treasure. But over here we have new fish. We have the raw fish, just like before, and cooked fish. Uh, Nondescript fish, if you please. But we also have salmon, raw and cooked forms. And we have clownfish, which doesn't have a cooked form, because normally people don't cook clownfish. I'm not even sure if you can actually eat it in real life. Though you can eat it here in Minecraft, it just doesn't give a whole lot of nutritional benefit to do so. Uh, so these are new fishing fish items that you can capture. Some things to keep fishing more interesting. Uh, let me fl fly back up. Let me swim back up. Though it does look like I'm flying because of the way they did translucent blocks. Now you don't actually see the surface of the water from underneath the water. I kind of would like for them to fix that because when you're swimming through a lake or a river, it's kind of weird. <laughs> and that is not because of the potion. That's normally like that regardless. Uh, anyway, let's do some fishing. See if I can actually get something here. Uh, if I can get this into the water. There we go. Now you might notice as we go here, there's some bubbles popping up and down in the water. That means there are fish there. As, a, as we get closer to the time for a fish to catch the hook, you'll see those bubbles popping up closer and closer to the hook, and eventually the fish will, will get itself together and get over there. Eventually. Anytime now. You know what, it used to be the case that you could fish in any body of water, but maybe that's just not the case anymore. Uh, let me try over here. Okay, we're obviously going to have to find ourselves a real body of water to fish in. Uh, let me go take a look, uh, see what I can find. I think, I don't think I'm going to be able to take Columbia down from here. So, I'm going to pop over, climb down, find source of water to fish in and I'll meet you back I'll meet you there hold on okay looks like I found me a nice desert oasis to test this out in uh, there's squids in here so it should be some a place where I can fish stupid squid get away from my line get out of here stupid thing okay here we go and oh, got a puffer fish finally now call me impatient but I've been here for a few minutes uh, fishing and all I got out of it was three fish and a puffer fish now the puffer fish is very useful for making that underwater potion but notice my potion is all, is gone that's how long I've been sitting here um, it's great but uh, I know I, you can get treasure you can get enchanted books out of the out of the out of water like that um, you just kind of have to set and do it uh, if you use the enchantments, if you use the, the luck of the sea of the lure enchantments, fishing becomes much easier there. Uh, also, I just noticed, whenever I toss it into a one block high, uh, one block deep location here in this pond, the fish didn't come. They only came when I was at two blocks or deeper. That might just be because of my impatience and just, you know, the luck of the draw, but that's something worth testing out. Now, man, I got quite a hike to get back where I was but if you like this video please give me a like and a sub or a subscribe they're both
very welcome and help my channel. You could also follow me on Twitter. That's where you'll get the first you'll get updates for when I post new videos. If I do anything special, have any special events, it will go out on Twitter first. So be the first to know by following me on Twitter. And also, you can check me out. Check out my other series. Uh, definitely unnamed server. I got two more series: the Mind Crushing. 2.0 as well as the random acts of crafting servers and then of course I'm still playing on the creeper land server and I got my own single player let's play uh, as well as other games I play so check all those things out on my channel enjoy 1.7 uh, this is Jaden Max here with the 1.7 update and I think I can climb this <laughs> anyway I'll play you later bye hello uh, I know I signed off before, but I didn't want to leave you without going over some of the additional features of 1.7. Things that you can't necessarily see or touch. Uh, for example, if I go here into the menu, I can see music set uh, settings, additional settings for the sounds of the game. I can also see additional settings for graphics, uh, including... Uh, a change of how they show render distance. You can control your max frame rate. Lots of things that should make the experience more uh, tailored to your machine, to the machine you're running the game on. Plus there are shaders, built-in shaders for the game. <laughs> this is kinda freaky. Okay, some of the shaders don't really I wouldn't play the game in a majority of the shaders here this is there's even a sound effect behind that or is that the sound effect from changing the shader anyway uh, okay some of the shaders can be very weird if you want to see the name of the shader you're on just press F3 and you, on the bottom line of your HUD, where you see Minecraft Shaders slash Post slash Blobs 2 Jason, that's the actual name of the shader. Oh boy, this is freaky. I gotta get off of this one. Uh, options, secret, super secret. Some of the shaders are very interesting, including this one, which is officially named the Flip Shader, but you could easily call it the Dinner Bone Shader. <laughs> Uh, there's additional commands as well in the with in the game. You'll have to go to the wiki to figure all those out. I'm not a big command block person, uh, but I do enjoy playing around with all these little toys that they've included in the game. Uh, anyway, like there's additional things here. Oh, resource packs! I got to show you resource packs. They changed the old texture packs into what are called resource packs and resource packs don't just include the textures but they also include the sounds you play yes you can change the default sounds of minecraft without a bunch of fancy hacking of the of the jar file or anything like that pretty cool so they're trying to make the game much more uh, customizable uh, to the player uh, something that every player can get into change for they want and they're trying to make it easier so you don't have to go into complicated mods and be a professional modder to do it and I think that's pretty cool anyway I'm gonna sign off here for now uh, for realsies so once again blah 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 uh, and I will s play you again later bye Hello, I'm down in the nether, just having a dandy old time here, <laughs> Try getting some glowstone, fighting this magma cube, and getting shot at by a, by a gas all at the same time. Just a normal day down here in the nether. Oh, darn, darn, I'm on fire, and I'm dying.